Marek, yo, what are you doing there? Getting the shot, fam. Blood, get out of here, fam. No blood, no shot. All right, what is going on, everyone? Tonight we're giving you 10 tips on how to make your car photography better. We are here at night, so we're gonna show you all about night photography. Okay, tip number one is to wash your car properly before you come to the shoot. Uh, before we came here, I did a quick wash to the car so it looks nice and shiny. Tip number two is finding your proper location. We chose this gas station right here because there's always so much light coming from it and it's really bright. So you can take picture with pretty much any camera or any even phone. Also, you really need a lot of space in the area that you go to. We chose this empty parking lot with a gas station next to us just because we can move around freely, we can go from any angle, we can park the car any way we want. So that will make it way easier to film. Tip number three is to keep it straight. And by that I mean just keep the level on the car straight between the wheels so it doesn't look like this. Yeah, but it looks like this. And the second part of this tip is to straighten the wheels once you're taking the picture, because many people forget about this, just to keep it nice and straight so the body of the car and the wheels are facing the same direction. Tip number four is choosing the right camera settings. By that I mean ISO, shutter speed and aperture. Those are the most important things, especially ISO. The higher ISO you use, the more noise you're gonna get in the uh, image, and that's not gonna look very nice in the pictures. With every camera, you can always find out what's the limit of the specific camera that you have. I would suggest taking it out and literally taking a picture on every level of ISO and seeing where you can start seeing the bad quality on it. And that's how it will give you the rough idea of how low the ISO should be. Tip number five is to kind of play with the lights of the car itself. When you're shooting from the back, it's good to have someone inside the car who can push the brake pedal so you can see those flashy lights. About the front lights, uh, it depends. Sometimes it looks cool to have these flares on the pictures, but sometimes when you shoot straight uh, front of the car, the lights just come into lens and you can't see anything but lights. So you just test it and play with it and see what looks better. Next tip is probably one of the most important ones, personally to me. It's don't overthink your photos. Don't try to get all creative and everything, especially when you're learning. Just keep it nice, simple, make a nice, clean photo. Don't try to go in like... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, boy. Mm. Marek, yo, what are you doing there? Getting the shot, fam. Blood, get out of here, fam. No blood, the shot. Once you master the simple, clean, beautiful photos, then you can try to do something else. Until that, keep it nice and simple. And... Action! <laughs> Another tip is not to forget the background. Uh, you really want the car to be a part of the scene, so make sure you have an interesting background behind the car. Of course, the car is the main part of the picture, but it's cool to have something around the car, so it looks way better when the car is, for example, in a gas station. Then, if, for example, you'd put the car against the, the wall, and then it would be just a wall and a car. Another tip is avoiding over-editing your pictures. Most people, actually, really, most, me, you probably, when we start uh, taking pictures for the first time, we try to add so many things to the picture. We add the sharpness, contrast, boom, bam, and that just makes the picture, it just ruins the picture, I would say. Very often, the best thing you can do with a photo is keep it very simple. On the top here, you can see the way we edited our picture that we took. And at the bottom here, you can see how a lot of people would edit it when they start taking pictures. As you can see, massive difference. Very nice, subtle changes to the, to the lights and here. Another tip is just an idea of uh, having a someone with you while you shoot. When you are alone, yeah. you are limited to your own ideas. You might have like, let's say, 10 ideas of pictures, but if you have someone else with you that would enjoy the same thing, mm -hmm. you can bounce off each other and like, Motivate, suggest each other. Yeah, yeah like, motivate each other. If one I, wouldn't come, I wouldn't come here if you wouldn't be here. Yeah, so. exactly. You know, the I'll only reason we're here is because we're here together. Yeah. So together. yeah, maybe blip. <laughs> uh, two guys in Miata. Two guys, one Miata. 10,000 likes! If you have someone who can come with you to the photo shoot, yeah, just take him and then just try and do it together. Even though the person, like, actually I realized that you don't even need that person to, you know, be in photography or anything. As long as you have someone with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just company. Yeah, just company. Just woman. That will help you a lot. And the last tip is to subscribe to the YouTube channel of Nitro. The last tip actually is to keep doing it and keep kind of working on it. So if you do your first uh, photos, 
and it doesn't quite look good just try again try to play with the settings or try different i don't know try to try to keep experimenting keep ex that's what all you need to do just keep doing it yeah that, it's as simple as that people people think that if they don't take good pictures straight away they're bad but it's all about practice so whatever camera you have a phone or like the old camera cheap camera the expensive camera whatever just play with it and like from every camera you can get a nice pic so yeah just just try and then try again exactly that's it aye it's fucking freezing so let's get out of here try. boom kebabchik ali kebab boom oh yeah Oh, that was good. Check out this guy's Instagram. Uh, he's doing a really great job of photography, so it's really worth to check it out. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode. That sounds gay as fuck, bro. So it sounded almost as gay as your Miata fam. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.